Another video for you today, otro video para ti hoy. Asus N70V is your laptop failing to boot after Windows updates. Last week Microsoft released automatic updates when you rebooted updates 1 and 2 configured but it gets stuck on 30% complete and starts rebooting again. You can't get out of that loop. You have tried getting in from a BIOS then installing a different operating system all to no avail. This is something Microsoft did not you by sending out a faulty update. Can you help please you ask? You can power on that other computer and immediately keep tapping an F8 key until an advanced boot options menu opens. Choose last known good configuration. Hopefully it will boot normally. You can always try other safe mode like safe mode safe mode with networking in that advanced boot options menu. Also you can try running a Windows system restore. Choose a date before these Microsoft Windows updates caused your boot problem. Restore your computer back to when it was functioning properly. If that does not fix your issue you can perform a factory restore then. There might be an option to perform a Windows system restore either on a recovery CD or using a recovery partition on a hard drive. Power on that laptop and immediately start tapping an escape key. A boot menu should open up then select to boot off your DVD-ROM drive. Make sure your recovery DVD is loaded into your DVD-ROM drive first. Do you have data on that hard drive that you want to keep? If you choose that option all files on the hard disk partitions will be lost while using the recovery CD. We'll reinstall Vista and restore your computer to when you purchased it. That wizard should reinstall a fresh version of Vista then. This was written for a specific Asus M70V model computer but you can certainly use these tips as a generalization for other computer makes and models and other operating systems besides Vista like XP 7, 8 and now 10. There are other possible scans. You could run a SFC space scan now and a check disk but those can take a while and sometimes it's just easier and faster if you try to perform a system restore first. If you can't perform a system restore or if it won't fix your issue, then back up your data and re-image it. Otherwise, you can just spend hours and hours and hours potentially trying to troubleshoot a botched Windows update. You can always browse to anetcomputers.com for their possible potential tips, information, and tricks to help you solve your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening. Adios.